It's time for See It or Skip It for the latest movie reviews. And this weekend, there's really a lot of new ones to choose from. So if you're looking for a new vampire fix uh, or a sci-fi or action movie, there's something for you. Our film critic, film critic Patrick Beatty has your reviews here for you today. And where do you want to start here, Patrick? Well, let's, let's start with the vampire, right? The Last Voyage of the Demeter. This is from the first couple chapters from Bram Stoker's Dracula, one of my favorites. It's such a cool concept. The minute I heard about it, it's like aliens, but you're on a pirate ship, and it's Dracula. Okay. How do you, how do you Does get that on work? That? That's it's a, a fascinating concept. They don't do a lot with it. It goes into kind of a regular vampire story that we do. The Dracula itself isn't even much of a like debonair Gary Oldman Dracula. He's more of like a screechy boogeyman that'll come out of you know, you could probably find someone in Castle of Chaos that does the same thing. <laughs> and I just don't think they did enough to make this one that I would recommend. However, the the, the tone is awesome. I love the, pr the premise. I just wish they did more with it. Sounds like a skip it to me. That's unfortunately the case, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, okay. What about the new sci-fi comedy, Jewels? It's hitting movie theaters this weekend. So this one is actually delightful. I, I had such a fun time with it. It's basically the premise is E.T., but for the elderly. What if a, uh, in this case, Ben Kingsley finds an alien in his backyard and decides instead of like being a crotchety old man about it, he's going to have a childhood adventure with this alien and it brings out so much cool character depth with him with these three leads. It's really one of those heartwarming films that anybody could see. So take your family, anybody could watch it. Do they ride the bicycle across the moon? You know, you would think that they're going to go as far into it like that, mm -hmm. but they, they keep it in, in the wheelhouse. I don't think that the elderly people could actually ride the bikes to get into the air. <laughs> so they have their own mm -hmm. version of it. It's okay. fantastic. For adults. Uh, okay. So that's to see it. All right. Yeah. What about Heart of Stone, the action movie with Gal Gadot? Right. So Gal Gadot and Jamie Dornan is in this. Mm -hmm. It's on Netflix. Uh, she's taking on the Tom Cruise, Cruise role. She's going full action star. Uh, same issue kind of with the Demeter, where I don't think the story actually gives a lot to you. It's much more you just want to see the punches, you want to feel the impact when you, they get hit. That's kind of how an action film to me it really works. Like when they're in trouble, you feel that suspense and you feel every hit that they get too. So in that respect, they totally nail it. Might be a little bit more, you know, we've seen the same thing, conventional, but it's still see it for me. Okay, that's a good review. Mm -hmm. How about a romance now, the pod generation? This one's cool. So imagine if you could outsource having your baby to a company like Comcast, but then you forget <laughs> to bring to return the router. What would that company do? <laughs> They'd probably do it in my house where the internet's down all the time. <laughs> right. Well, what if the internet goes down at a certain point with having a baby? Mm -hmm. It's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Amelia Clark is great. She would tell you for it's a, it's a fascinating concept about nature versus you know a technology-based world where we're all trying to get careers, we're all trying to have everything. Can you also have a baby too at that same time? It's very interesting, and it's definitely a see it. Wow. Okay, so you've got the reviews in for this weekend. What about next week? Next week is Blue Beetle. So we got a new DC film coming and the Strays movie, which is an R-rated Homeward Bound dog film. It looks crazy. I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested too. Interesting. Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> How they connect with you, you want to see the reviews. Um, check it out on PatrickBaderReviews.com and on all the YouTube and social medias. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thanks for coming. We love hearing from you and all those reviews. Got a lot mm -hmm. to see this weekend. As we head to the break here on Midday, we've got another streaming service crackdown. Here out uh, who is now joining Netflix, stopping you.